Yeah, I'm good. Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friend. In this video, I'm going to show you how to soundproof a ceiling. And uh, we're going to be use the sound bar or rest bar and our rock saw isolation. Like you guys can see, the rest bar has a hose. Is where the, the space where the sound travel between this hose. And uh, once we put it on the ceiling, we're just gonna have this side gonna be up, this side gonna be down a bit. So we're gonna have a air space for the sound to travel on the ceiling. This is how it helps. And this is the rock so isolation that we use. Nice and brown. We're just gonna put it on the ceiling, like one between the joists, and uh, keep it down. And keep it down, leave, leaving a gap space between the the floor and the isolation. That way the sound could tra can travel, and uh, we go from there. What we call it safe and sound, so it's uh, it's good for fire rated, and there's a uh, is dense, and I would uh, buff the sound. And I can show you guys fiberglass isolation. This is uh, what we have here. This is R14. Yeah, I'll just show you the difference between the Roxo. And the fiberglass, the one on the right hand is the Roxxon. On the this one here on this hand, the left hand is a regular uh, fiberglass isolation. It's uh, buff the sound, but it's not as good as this one. And uh, this is uh, good stuff too. So you guys see the difference. Yes, on here on the living room, we use a. Uh, just the regular isolation, regular fiberglass isolation. On the bedrooms, we use uh, rocks, safe and sound. And that way, when you're sleeping, it's just less noise. Yes, I, I will show you how to install the, the isolation. Yes, if you guys have any question or comment, just let us know. I love you guys. Let's work. Okay, here as I show you guys. This is the safe and sound, like you guys can see, we have a we have a gap in there between the, the floor and the isolation, so we just put it up, we just keep it uh, straight here on the bottom, like you guys can see, don't, don't stack it up. Yeah, don't push it up too high, just leave, make sure you leave the a gap between the floor and the isolation. Then we just push it up. There. This is the way it is done. Yeah, you should wear a mask and a gloves. That would help a lot. It's a good idea to wear a glass for the eye protection because sometimes it's just a little bit of residual falling off. I kind of use my toque like this. this and this you just cut with a, a knife, nothing special, one of this knife. Yeah, and uh, else don't squish it in too tight, otherwise it lose the effect of uh, the soundproof. Just make sure it's a, a tight fit, but not too tight, don't press it in. Just keep it loose, that way it's uh, more effective. Yes, uh, we're gonna show you guys how to Install the rest bar. Hello guys, Bayani here. Just gonna show you how to do a rest bar on the seal. This is uh, to stop some noise from the floor above. So this is the rest bar. We're just gonna, they are very easy to cut. Just go. Just cut as many as you need. Like if you have a 
we're gonna put them uh, like 16 inch apart They are used to cut, so all we use is a teeny snip. And then we're just gonna install them on the ceiling, right? Nothing too crazy. And they be good to go, like I have a little I'm gonna put one piece in there, so I'm just gonna cut this one. I'm gonna put a little piece right down the corner. Nothing too crazy. See, I have this piece, I'm just gonna cut it to fit right there. I just put it like this, and I just go. I not even use a tape or anything. Just put it uh, against the wall, and uh, there you go. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna put the reservoir up. We're just gonna stay a little bit away from the wall. To attach it, it's just a dry oil screws. Inch and a quarter dry oil screws. Nothing too crazy. Just like, uh, I'm just gonna keep it a little bit away from the wall. I just can put a few screws up. And then, uh, like here we're gonna go like uh, about 16 inch apart. Which is, uh, right in there, I can, uh, Pick this guys up like uh, you can mark with a pencil. In this case, I'm just gonna use a, a, a tape to measure it. I have it 16 on the center, like uh, nothing too crazy. You can do very much with one hand, just mark it. And then you just put the screw, <laughs> put the screw. And if you have a little piece of like this one here, inside the window, like so, this one goes up. I will put the screws all from the floor later. This one I just gonna tuck it in. You have a little piece like this one. I'm just gonna put a couple inch away from the wall. And then just uh, load with the screws. Another thing that is very important is to mark the joist like you see here. We have the joist all marked once we get the dry oil. The screw gotta go right on the center of the joist, not on top of the joist. Just to hold on the rest bar because this we need it to be flexed and divert the sound. The reason for this is just very easy, the sound would travel in between the, the rest bar. In this case here, it's good to know we try to Cut down the sound, the sound soundproof, we have the rocks resolution. Once you can see here, I will show you the way to put the rocks resolution, like you guys can see. The rocks is down, and we have a air space uh, between the floor and the isolation. And then we have another air space between the, the joists and the dry also. The sound would be trapped in between and would be a way less noise. So this is very easy. If you have one of this gun, you can just do the, the whole place, tuck it in and then just use the gun. Yeah, it's what I do. Once I have it all 
tack tap the rest by just go with the from the floor I go around and I screw all the rest by that way easier more productive and uh, on the end of the day get a more done that way on this one here on the other end of the room I just gonna show you guys and then we're gonna do the whole thing just very much the same way we just cut them up like you see the joists they are all marked let's work Hello my friends, yes we have we have the rest bar up, we have the drywall up in here, we pretty much good to go with this one, just have to do the tape, like I explained before, we have a uh, air space between the the floor and the drywall, so the sound will get trapped between the, the drywall and the floor, and uh, would die in there, not gonna come down. And uh, this one we had uh, Roxas isolation, we had Resba and drywall. Yes, we have here we have two air gap, one um, between the, the plywood, the floor and the isolation, and another one between the joist and the drywall, the isolation and the drywall. So two air gap should work very good for the sound, should help a lot. And thank you very much. Thank you for your support. And I love you guys. And I see you on the next video. Thank you.